What's up guys? I'm JC Corn and welcome back to another episode of Terminal TV. Thank you all for tuning in. I hope you guys are doing well, healthy, and are staying strong during these difficult times. In this episode, we will be talking about new music and tours. We will be presenting an interview with Karim of Sinesa Cabaret who will be presenting a surprise for all of his fans. You will also be showing an interview with Raul, keyboardist of the band Amduxia and vocalist of Lucifer Christ. We will be honoring the 31st anniversary of Yugoslavian avant-garde electro band known as Nightback. We will also be presenting a countdown for the top 10 music videos of the dark scene for the month of March. DJ Betty will be presenting a special treat in our segment called Dark Cuisine. If you are interested in hearing readings on your horoscope, Tiffany Retrozami will be presenting Zodiac readings for the month of March. So there's much to look forward to in this episode of Terminal TV. We'll start off by talking about new music releases and announcements. Blue Tango will be releasing their new album called Fountain of Destiny under Out of Line Music. Solar Fake has released a new music video for this song, It's Who You Are, off of their new album called Enter Dystopia, released under Out of Line Music. Mexican electro industrial band Egan has joined Out of Line Music with the release of the new single called La Era de la Bestia. French industrial icons Deform are back with the release of the new album called Mental Camera, released under Triso Music Group. Bernard, the new project of Marcus Reinhardt of Wolfshame, has released a video for his song Heresy featuring Sarah Blackwood. He has also announced that he is working on a second album that he will be releasing soon. Industrial powerhouse known as Bunkerbach has released a new album called Element 115 under Metropolis Records. Fern and Lasemi have announced they have released a lyric video for their song Alone from their new album called Mechanical Soul. Tim Skull will be releasing his new album Disarray on March 5th and the first single called Goodbye is available now. Post-punk dark wave band known as Pulsation have released a new single called Of Vultures and Sickles under Crunchpot Records. NMX has reissued Discipline this time with remixes done by Manufactura, Waste, Pyro Classic and more under Crunchpot Records. Next we'll be talking about tour updates. The long-awaited Bauhaus Reunion World Tour has received new dates taking place this year of 2021. The tour was supposed to span the US, Mexico and Europe but was postponed due to COVID-19. The new dates are starting to be announced with Mexico dates being October 24th and 25th and London taking place October 30th. Tickets are available for purchase now and previously purchased will be honored at the show. This year of 2021 marks the 41st anniversary of Yugoslavian electro industrial band known as Nightmare. They have been around since 1980 and have been associated with avant-garde and neoclassical that mix many different elements from all subgenres of dark scene to get a powerful militaristic and sinister sound. They are famous for their satirical use of iconography with ambiguous parodies of totalitarianism, nationalism, and militarism. The band has become one of the most popular bands of the dark scene and have also helped keep the dark scene alive in recent years. To honor Lightback, we will be showing the video for their hit Tans Meet Lightback released in 2003. Here is the video. Now it is time for the countdown for the top 10 music videos of the dark scene for the month of March. Coming in number 10, we have Rabia Sorda with her song, The Studio. This electronic band is a side project of Eric from Mexico, formed in 2003 in Mexico City. The band is recognized for blending electronic music with 80s style melodies, ethnic influences, and pop to get a more aggressive style to electronic music. The video is from their newest album called The Studio, released under Adeline Music in 2020. Coming in number 9, we have Carp Souls with the song Undress My Life. This dark wave synth pop band is from Southern California and was formed in 2003. The band have taken influence from various subgenres of electronic music and got to get a melodic, powerful, and dark sound. The song is off of their 2003 debut album called Machinery and it is one of their most well known songs to this day. Coming in number 8, we have The Juggernauts with their song Purge. This electro EVM band is from Belgium and was formed in 2010. The band blends the hard-hitting beats of electronic body music, versatility of electronic music, and militaristic grooves with other influences to get a powerful and aggressive sound. The song is off of the 2016 album called The Juggernauts Are Coming, released under Out of Line Music. Coming in number 7, we have Hemi Tarde with the song Hate Pack Hakkabir. This electro-industrial band is from Germany and have been around since 2004. 
The band is most well known for the integration of medieval and folk style, dress, and live shows. The band blends neo-medieval music with industrial to get a powerful and melodic sound. The song is off of the 2016 album called Hit Pack Hacker Beal, released under Metropolis Records. Coming in number 6, we have Menotron with their song Du Bis is Nick Vett. This future pop synth pop band is from Germany and has been around since 1995. The band is recognized for taking the future pop sound, which is very melodic and danceable, and they blend it with synth pop and 80s melodies to get a dark melodic sound. The song is off of the 2014 album called Torchfield, released under The Line Records. Coming in number 5, we have Solitary Experiments with their song Epiphany. This future pop band is from Berlin, Germany and has been around since 1994. The band is part of the first wave of bands that helped future pop grow into its own subgenre and helped make it popular. The band is well known for their powerful, danceable, dark melodic songs with strong lyrics. The song is off of their 2013 album called Phenomena, released under Out of Line Music. Coming in number 4, we have Shiver, the song The End. This is a dark electronic industrial band from Australia and was formed in 2008. The band is most well known for their various influences. They take various subgenres of electronic music, golf, and metal to get a truly sinister, dark, and powerful sound that truly packs a punch. The song is off of the 2010 album called Hold My Hand, released under Infected Recording. Coming in at number three, we have Incubus Succubus with their song Witches. This English Gothic pagan rock band was formed in 1989. The band has grown to become one of the most well-known bands in the dark scene and helped shape Gothic rock the way that it is today. The band mixes a dark Gothic rock sound with chilling and powerful vocals and dark lyrical themes and atmospheres. The song is off of the 1996 album called Beltane, released under Pagan Fire Music. Coming in at number two, we have Suicide Commando with the song Evacuate. This Belgian and electro industrial band was formed in 1986. It helped shape the dark music the way that it is today. The band is most well known for their powerful yet melodic sound, their hard hitting lyrics, and their horror themed dark sound making it seem straight out of a horror film. The song is off of the 2012 album called Attention Horror, released under Out of Line Music. So coming in number one for the top best music video for the month of March, we yeah. have. Two Witches with their song Irresistible. The Scottish rock and dark wave band was formed in Tampere, Finland and has been around since 1987. The band is most well known for being the first part of the first wave of bands that helped shape Gothic rock become its own subgenre and helped make it popular. Two Witches has grown to become one of the most well known Gothic rock bands and have influenced many other bands we have all come to know and love. The band is one of the first bands to integrate a vampire aesthetic to their appearance and also their music. The band is well known for their chilling dark sound with lyrics on blood-sucking vampires, the cult and death. The band is an icon and is still around to this day. The song is off of the 2005 album called Saints and Sinners, released under Electric Blue Records. And there you have it, the top 10 best music videos of the dark scene for the month of March. Tans Creek is an industrial noise band coming all the way from Mexico City. The band was formed in 2013 and they are known for blending techno, trance with hard hitting beats of power noise and industrial. They are very experimental and what you get is a truly powerful, aggressive and danceable sound with packs of punch of adrenaline. The band is recognized for the futuristic and militaristic feel. Joining us all the way from Mexico, Tans Creek will be doing an exclusive live performance just for you. Be sure to check them out on SoundCloud, Facebook, and YouTube. Take it away, Tans Creek. Interrumpimos esta transmisión para informar que en este momento se encuentra iniciando Tans Creek. Tome precauciones para nuestro industrial poderoso y bailable. Conexión de datos plugin. Subiendo habilidades de mezcla. Cargando datos musicales. Subiendo la configuración del ecualizador. Reinicio del analizador espectral. La carga está completa.
Next up, we have Karim, vocalist of Los Angeles Gothic Rock Band, Siniestra Cabaret, joining us all the way from Mexico City, who will be presenting a special surprise for all of his fans. How are you, Karim? How is everything in Mexico? I'm doing fine. Um, everything is good so far here in Mexico. Um, but so far, we're doing excellent. How are you guys doing? Everything is great. All right, Karim. Can you tell us about the surprise that you have for all of your fans listening right now? Okay, we have a big surprise for all the fans and all the people that actually have a following us. Uh, we have a new video coming up for Halloween Land and we just released an album of uh, five songs which is called Wonder Garden. So it's all available on all digital uh, platforms so you guys can go check it out. But uh, we're working on the, on the new video coming up so it's a very, very cool process we're working on. We look forward to all of that. What were you aiming for with this new album or in what direction did you want to take your music with this album? Well, um, we're aiming for this album um, to promote it and uh, we're touching a little a few things that might be a little sensitive right now with uh, the situation we're living in. But, uh, we're hoping to start playing soon whenever all this situation improves and uh, to play shows live again here in Mexico as well and everywhere possible. But uh, we're aiming to, to keep making music to promote this album to, to not give up, you know, because everything is really stringent sensitive right now, I would say, but the, we have to stay focused and keep making music and play all these little things uh, drive us down, stay positive when it comes down to music and other aspects in life. I agree, we need to find something that helps us stay positive. Well, thank you so much, Karim, for your time. I hope we can see you soon. Thank you so much, guys. Uh, Club Terminal and every one of you that help us helping us. Um, thank you so much for your stuff. Thank you guys. You know the people, uh, not fans, I would call them friends and everybody interested in our music and whatever we do as an artist. And uh, stay safe, help each other and uh, hope to see you guys soon and keep rocking around. Uh, stay safe. Peace out. Thank you again, Karim. All right, guys, don't forget to check out Sina Sacabaret's new album, Wonder Garden. It's available on all platforms. Here we leave you with a behind the scenes look of Sina Sacabaret's video shoot for his new song called Halloween Land. Here is the video. What's up guys, we're here with DJ Batty, DJ of great influence in the LHR scene for Legacy and also for a beat. And she is back to present a special treat in our segment called Dark Cuisine. How are you buddy? I'm doing good, how are oh, you? It's all good. How was Valentine's Day? Uh, it was actually pretty fun. I, I, uh, I DJed online while Ryan was cooking dinner for, for us. Awesome, <laughs> yeah. a special treat for you? Yeah, he made us, um, he actually made us uh, like thick, like really thick steaks. That's awesome. Yeah, he made it a steak dinner, we had wine and um, a board with like, you know, different cheeses and he made it, he, he made it nice. Yeah. Awesome. And do you celebrate St. Patrick's Day? Of course, we have to drink. <laughs> <laughs> you have any special plans? Um, usually I, I like to uh, drink, you know, the, the beer of choice for me around this time is uh, Guinness. 
and a bit of cider with it. So it's almost like a half and half drink. Yeah. And we do like uh, brisket. Awesome. And uh, corned beef and all that stuff. So yeah. Awesome. I also see that you are. What's it called? Showing off a new apron just for a I I had to. I had to get it done, you know, especially here because yeah, I, you know, I want to get grease and stuff on myself. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. You ready to get started? Yes, I am. Awesome. Okay, so what are we going to be making today? Today we're going to be making. It's a uh, Thai, Thai pineapple fried rice. Okay. It, it's the easiest thing that you could make if you want Thai food in your house. Cool. Then how do you? What are the ingredients? Well, as we have everything here, of course, it will be a day-old jasmine uh, rice there, which you know I made yesterday just to bring it here. <laughs> okay. And then we have our curry powder. It's Indian curry powder, okay. cashews, um, and then we have uh, carrots with peas, and you know our chopped green onions, a bit of sugar, and I have here are uh, the oil that I'm going to be using. A very little garlic this time. I know usually I overdo it on the garlic but it is a sweeter rice so I don't want to you know kill that okay <laughs> uh, some chopped brown onions here's canned pineapple but if you guys like to peel fresh pineapple I personally find it tedious so yeah. I don't use it that much but fresh pineapple actually will make it taste a bit better so okay there, there is a difference there's a difference because it's fresher okay and then of course uh, the chicken I have a thinly sliced, uh, it's a boneless thigh meat that I use this time, but you know, you could use breast meat as well. Okay. Two eggs, and then we have raisins. Now these two things here are the garnish, which is cilantro and cucumber. Awesome. Now yes. with the sauces. Awesome. <laughs> so I uh, will be using dark soy sauce, fish sauce, oyster sauce, and here is the regular soy sauce, okay. a bit of pepper. Awesome. And then um, uh, here's a little secret here. Like I was uh, talking to you guys. This is a uh, Malaysian Indonesian sweet soy sauce. Okay. There's the reason I bought it here is because you have two choices on how to, you know, season the rice. Okay. These two, you know, will be together, which is the dark soy sauce and the regular soy sauce. Okay. But you want to cut down on the salt, so that's why you use the sugar. Oh. Okay. okay? You know, all these together will make a very salty, like, uh, sauce together. Okay. Okay. Or you could take these out and use sweet soy sauce, okay. which is named pretty much, that's the name of it, uh, Kika Manis. Okay. okay. I bought it at the Asian store. It's Indonesian, Malaysian sweet soy sauce. Okay. So notice the difference. Either use this or use these two with a bit of sugar to balance out all these. And is there a significant difference between the taste or is it... uh, It's thicker, it's sweeter. So yeah, so oh. you'll notice that um, maybe I don't even have to use the dark soy sauce because this is so dark, it will give it the color. Oh, okay. So yeah, it's like I take these out and just use these three or I use all these four okay. with a bit of sugar. And which is the more traditional way of doing it? I personally would be by, I would say by choice, but in our household, we like to use Okay. But since a lot of people can't find it, it is hard to find. It oh. took me a while to find it. I use the regular, you know, you know uh, soy sauce with the dark soy sauce. Okay. And this is a traditional way of doing this, right? Yes. Where did you learn how to make this dish? Um, me and Ryan are always looking at, like, uh, what is it, travel food shows. Okay. And some of those people actually go to actual restaurants that start putting everything together. So yes, I get curious and I start trying it out. Awesome. So you're ready to put all these I together? I put it. I'm ready. So let's get down to it. Okay. So now we're going to get started, right? Yes. Okay. And I I heated up the wok with some oil. Okay. So we'll just be careful of that because it's really hot. Okay. And I start with the eggs. Awesome. And yep, I didn't beat the eggs. As you can see, there's still little eggs in here. Egg go first. Egg go first. And then they go. I add the chicken. I know it's interesting, but if you want the chicken to cook well, I would suggest that you cut it really thin. Okay. Okay. Just so it could be done fast. Yes. So this this is probably the part that takes longer because you want to make sure your chicken or your shrimp. You can use shrimp too. Okay. Some people use shrimp. I use both shrimp and chicken. You know, and it's on the high heat, the highest heat, 
So yes, this part does take longer because we want to make sure the chicken is well cooked. Okay. And once it's well cooked, then you know I start adding everything else. So this is probably the longest part of the cooking here. Cooking process. So yeah, because then I don't you know we don't want to get sick. I try to cut the little pieces of chicken as best as I can right here. Yeah. So yeah, and of course since chicken is moist. That's where it takes longer because it releases the moisture. Oh, okay. That's one of the things I know about cooking rice with chicken. I'm just like, oh, <laughs> there's, the, there's that water coming out. <laughs> and I start, you know, scooping out the, the moist, the, the, the juice that it releases. Okay. Yeah. So, I'll make sure it's... Notice I haven't added any salt or anything because all the salt will be these sauces. Right. Yeah. So. And you know what, guys? This rice. When you guys order at Thai restaurant, that's what it that here in LA, if you get a pineapple fried rice, it's about a bowl this small, served on a plate, and it costs you about $16. Oh, really? US dollars. Oh, yeah. my God. The cheapest I've gotten pineapple fried rice is $11 US dollars. Oh. Yeah. And it's not a lot. So, see how the moisture is coming out? You yeah. see that, right? It's yeah. the moisture of the chicken. That's why this is the longest process here, the, the cooking of the chicken. That juice? Yes. Yes, it says. See? Okay. There you go. And this is the part that, that makes it take longer. But make sure you guys cook the chicken really well. Okay. Don't rush. I would say, what, this process should be about 15, 20 minutes? Because I still have to add everything else. Okay. And does the teflon and the wok? Make a difference or is it Yes, it does. Um, if you guys remember the last time I made like a Japanese fried rice, yeah. I bought this big aluminum or cast iron looking wok, right? Yeah. That one is more, I guess you say, specialized to do these kind of dishes. Okay. So it's, uh, its heat will cook it faster. Oh, okay. Yeah. The thing is that because it's um, that type of material, it's a different kind of uh, spoon. You saw that I had a metal spoon? Yeah. Because it sticks really fast. Oh, okay. So this would already been done in that type of wok. Okay. But a lot of people have access to Teflon wok, so I wanted to use something that's more common and you know, you can awesome. get a, a wok like this at Ikea, yeah. you can get at Target, or wherever it is that you guys bought yours. Yeah. You know? But uh, the ones that we got, me and Ryan had to go to actual like San Gabriel Valley to go get it at a general store there. Oh. Alright, so the moisture is going away. Now I'm gonna add the onion. Awesome. So that's brown onion, right? Yeah, and it's just a little bit, but I want to make sure it's cooked too because you know you don't want the onion to be too pungent. Yeah. So do you like do you like uh, Thai food? I do. You do? So you're gonna like this. Awesome. If you've ever had um, pineapple fried rice at a Thai place, you're gonna tell me if it tastes exactly the same. <laughs> Yeah. I've actually never tried it before. Oh, you never? No. Oh, okay. Well, you'll try it right now, and then the next time you guys go out, order it there, and then hit me up and tell me <laughs> if, if it tastes the same. But Ryan told me that it does. Yeah. We type it a lot. Awesome. Yeah. So, this is all the things coming together now. But I want to make sure it's well cooked. So, yeah. I'm paranoid about getting sick from yeah. eating meat. Now, if you're a vegetarian, you could add tofu instead of chicken or shrimp. And stuff, yeah. Okay. I mean, it's basically the same process. Right? Yeah, because all you do is uh, fry the tofu. I really, I don't really use tofu in my house, but um, tofu is sold by consistency and how on how hard it is. So for something like this, I would say you would use the firmer, the firm tofu, tofu okay. that you could fry because I know that it turns into like little cubes that are like golden. You know, they get golden when you fry them. Yeah. That's what you use for for that. Okay. Looks like it's coming together really well. See how the, the, the egg doesn't burn? Yeah. Is it because of the juice of the chicken? It's uh, it's just the like I, I guess you said the heating process and also this here. But I know that when I use the other tip, the the other type of wok, yeah. I have to be I have to make everything fast. Oh. Okay. It goes fast, so the chicken is thinly sliced, the egg is ready to go, and everything is to you know put together faster than this. Okay. Okay. So now that that is. Good. Now we proceed with adding the rest of the ingredients. Awesome. So we're gonna put what's this? The next thing is the rice. And you said this is a day old, right? Yes. So I'm gonna add just a little bit for now. Why does it have to be a day old? So it won't be sticky. Oh. Okay. Right. Yes. Let's go nuts. There you go. Awesome. All right. 
And as that is going, we got everything else. Cashews. Okay. Let's add a bit of garlic. And then it's like, what's going on over there? <laughs> Yeah. You said not so much garlic either, right? Mm-hmm. Some veggies. The veggies. And then raisins. Awesome. And I'm gonna add that last, but let me add the sauces. Okay. And watch this. I don't measure in my house. This is all I do. <laughs> I know. If you measure, it's all to taste. Okay. okay? Soy sauce. Yep. The hardest part is getting the oyster sauce out, guys. Here's the fish sauce. I'm careful with this because it's anchovy sauce. You don't want to get this in your clothes. Yes. It's a big stink? It's a big stink. <laughs> it's anchovies. It's in liquid form. Oh, no. So, and this is sticky. You see that? So that's the oyster sauce? This is the oyster sauce. This oh. one's painful. This one. Yeah. Sorry. And as that's going, now I have the pineapple. Awesome. The sweets. Yeah. How long have you known how to do this? Um, I've been doing it uh, since me and Ryan got together. Oh, really? Yeah, so I would say like it's been already like four years, five years. Oh, that's cool. I'm used to having like a very metal like uh, spoon. Okay. So I'm like making sure I don't bend it. <laughs> I add I add the, the you know the green onion last. Okay. It's more of a garnish. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it's green, perfect for St. Patrick's. <laughs> right? Isn't that funny? <laughs> the irony. But yeah, this is like our favorite rice in the house as well. Well, I mean we always have like. Some form of Asian food in my house. Okay. It's looking good. Mm hmm Making sure that I'm breaking the rice really well. Okay. And see, because it's day-old rice, it's not sticking as in like getting mushy. Oh, okay. I'm add a bit of pepper. Awesome. So if you would put rice on the spot, it would be more sticky and mushy? Mm-hmm. Okay. Yes. So don't use the same rice. If you're gonna, if you forget, make it yeah. and put it in the fridge okay. once it cools off, so it could get hard. Okay. Ooh. Okay. I'm excited. <laughs> and since I told you that I would, I, I use those soy sauces there. Yeah. I'm gonna add a bit of sugar. Okay. You said this is more the traditional way. Right? Yeah. I use, um, I don't know, I have this thing that if you're gonna make something that's island flavored, okay. I have coconut sugar. Oh, so really? I use coconut sugar in the house. Does that pay uh, much of a difference? Mm, it's just me with my, you know, well, if it's like, you know, an island, like a South Pacific, um, Southeast Asia, yeah. I'm thinking like, oh, the islands, the palm trees. So yeah. then you add a bit of coconut. Okay. I do the same thing with my curries. Okay. I add coconut sugar. See, so now it's getting that color. Yep. Oh, yeah, the green. Awesome. The greens. Yes, sir. You smell the curry? Yeah. Yeah, it all depends. If you like curry a lot, add more. I, you know, I believe I added more than them. And we're done. Awesome. See how fast everything was put together? <laughs> so we get to enjoy it. Awesome, let's do it. Okay, so now it's in a serving bowl, right? Yes, it is, and we're ready to enjoy it. So awesome. this, is, this is what it looks like after everything's done. Okay. And you garnish it with, you know, fresh cucumber and the cilantro. If you want more green onions in there, you could do that too. Garnish it with more green onions. That's awesome. Okay, it's so. It's looking very green. Yes, <laughs> it is, pretty much. And then, um, 
we could, you know, we could enjoy it. And I would like to talk about like how sometimes people you put, you know, their own like chili sauce and stuff on it. Mm -hmm. You could use um, something called some ball. Okay. It's a it's a chili paste that they sell at Asian stores. You probably see it when you go to Asian restaurants. They serve it on the table. Yeah. You can use that if you like your food spicy. Okay. Oh, I spilled it. Sorry. Mm -hmm. And then, <laughs> or um, you don't need to add any soy sauce if you want it a bit saltier. Okay. Fish sauce. Oh. Is okay. your friend okay. with Thai food? That ex oh. extra flavor. That adds uh, a bit of salt and amplifies the flavor. Yes. No more soy sauce. No more soy sauce. So if you feel that it needs salt, do not go for the soy sauce. As for fish sauce, oh. okay, and then also, um, you know how I was saying the sambal? Yeah. I make a chili sauce that they have at the Thai restaurants, I make it with the fish sauce. Okay. I just, you know, I, I spaced out and bring the chilies, but there's Thai chilies, they're green, they're very small. Okay. I chop those up, and then I use shallots. Okay. And then I chop those up too, they're like little red onions. I add a bunch of this in it and leave it overnight. Okay. The next day it turns into like a chili fish sauce. Oh. And I pour it over my hair. Sounds good. Yeah. Right. So, let's try right. and taste it. You like it? Let's mm -hmm. <laughs> taste it too. The flavor is amazing. So I made this also because I was told that you do love Thai food. Yeah. You guys eat Thai food a lot. Yeah. And also because it's your birthday. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So. Oh, thank you. Okay. Thank you very much, Bati. And thank then you. at the same time, if I'm allowed, I want to wish happy birthday to Isa and to uh, Martin. Awesome, happy birthday to you guys. Well, thank you very much, Bati. This was amazing. Thank you for coming here to teach people how to make special dishes just for us, because many people are stuck at home yeah. due to the pandemic, and they're learning how to make dishes because of you and your tutorials, so we appreciate that very much. Awesome, thank you for having me, it's fun. No, thank you. This is DJ Bati for Terminal TV. Okay, up next we have Raul, vocalist of the band Lucifer Christ and keyboardist for Anduxia joining us all the way from Mexico City. How are you, Raul? Estoy bien eh, con toda esta porquería de pandemia, eh, con lockdown, o sea, sin salir de casa, están un poco recluido. Bueno, un poco no, en demasía recluido. Si sale uno a hacer unos pagos, hay que tener cuidado. Mucho cuidado, porque si este virus por lo que se ve, viene muy fuerte. Entonces hay que estarse cuidando en demasía. We indeed have to take care of ourselves. Tell me, how has COVID-19 pandemic affected you and your lifestyle? El COVID ha afectado a mi vida bárbaro, aunque ha tenido como otras ventajas. De estar con mi familia, de no, o sea, de apreciar lo que uno tal vez no apreciaba valga la redundancia uno antes siempre quería estar haciendo otras cosas pero jamás eh, valorar lo que uno tiene que es la salud eso me ha tratado y me ha puesto a pensar en muchas cosas similares I agree our health is very important what would you recommend everyone to do during this pandemic Nunca dejen de hacer las cosas que ustedes quieran hacer. Si tú quieres grabar un disco, por ejemplo, con Lucifer Christ o con Anducia, lo hicimos con mucha precaución. Pero el chiste es llevar todas las situaciones eh, I don't know, eh, con, mucha, con mucha precaución. Digamos. Porque, o sea, tú quieres grabar un disco, ok, hazlo. Con Lucifer Christ estamos grabando, bueno, ya grabamos un disco, está en stand-by, porque no quiero ir al, al estudio otra vez y, y grabar otra vez, porque si quieres grabar, es como, hay, no sé, un micrófono, por ejemplo. Tienes que desinfectar y no sé qué. Y también eh, le mando saludos a, a Juan Carlos, el de la disquera que es local de acá, de la Ciudad de México. No quiero poner en riesgo a nadie y tampoco quiero poner en o sea, que él me ponga en riesgo, me explico. Entonces hay que hacerlo, pero con sumo cuidado. Sí, va a salir el disco cuando, para que se tranquilice esta cosa, va a estar de paciencia. Pero está listo. Y ahí vamos. Y todo muy bien. We look forward to that Lucifer Christ album. But we also know that you released a new album for your band, Abduxia. Tell us about this album. What was your aim? Con Anducia hicimos un nuevo disco que se llama Existe. Por ahí está en todas las plataformas, Spotify, Bad Camp, 
y todas esas cosas. Y este, hay un video que también está en YouTube, espero que lo vean. Y existe es el nombre del álbum. Y ya está casi quedó correcto de existe. O sea, habla de otras situaciones, no tanto de lo que estábamos eh, tratando de plasmar hace tiempo. Pero los invito a que lo escuchen. Y seguimos en lo mismo, seguimos con la disquera, seguimos creando cosas y seguimos pateando traseros. Thank you so much, Raúl, for your time. Hope we can see you soon. Up next, we will be showing a song from Lucifer Christ. Thank you, Raúl. Gracias a todo el crew de Club Terminal. Les mando un abrazo enorme. Esperemos seguirnos apoyándonos tanto uno como otros para que funcione toda la situación del arte y de la música electrónica o de música, como le quieran llamar. Esperemos verlos muy pronto porque realmente se les, pues se les eh, estima en demasía y aparte se les extraña. Nos veremos pronto. God is, God is, God is, God is, God is, God is.
you guys ready to hear information about your horoscope? Well, Tiffany Retro Zombie is going to be presenting a horoscope reading for the month of March. Take it away, Tiffany. Hello, everyone. Welcome back for another session of Retro Zombie's Horoscopes. Made by hand by me, written for, and exclusively only for, Terminal TV. And also, Happy St. Pat Patrick's Day, everyone. <laughs> Couldn't quite spit that out. And uh, also, Happy National Cereal Day this month. Also, Happy Waffle Day this month. And Happy Something on a Stick Day. You can take that however you want to think that. I know that everyone's mind's in the gutter, including mine. I'm a Scorpio, so there you go. <laughs> well, you're going to go ahead and start off this month by knowing that, yes, St. Patrick's Day is here. Please drink safely and responsibly and make sure that you take some sort of driving service home if you decide to go out anywhere. And also, be sure to be safe during this pandemic. We're going to go ahead and start off the segment with, of course, the number one, Aries. This month calls for you to watch your temper. Do not fight with anyone. Instead, worry about yourself. Your sleeping patterns have been off. So put yourself in a different sleep schedule. Buy an alarm clock and place on other side of room to make you wake up and get up on time. Drink more water and definitely take care of your dental hygiene. Your teeth are number one this month, Aries. And the moon is going to be in Aries on the 14th and the 15th this month. For Taurus. This month will give you a chance to examine the people around you. Who should go out of your life and who should stay. Ginger tea and green crystals are a must this month. Friends are really important. Make time for your real friends, as Venus is definitely going to be there to help you through absolutely every single little thing this month. Venus is your ruling planet, Taurus is, and it's going to give you the energy that you ever so need to examine absolutely everybody around you. Also, this month you're going to seem a little dramatic, not too dramatic, because the way that Venus is going through Pisces into Aries, and it's also going to be passing by three dwarf planets of Ceres, Chiron, and Eris. And it's also going to team up with Neptune when it passes by. So this month, Tauruses, is very, very important for you to balance your emotions. Kick out those bad friends. Bring in new friends, kick out old lovers, bring in new lovers, out with the old and in with the new. This is the only month that you're going to be able to do that this year. So Tauruses, please be very strong. And the moon will be in Taurus on the 16th, 17th, and 18th this month for Gemini. This month, look at your bills, figure out what needs to be paid first. And definitely do not spend any kind of extra money this month so that this way by next month you can definitely afford that getaway date or the road trip that you want to go ahead and go on. Find new jobs or education this month that will be more better for you. The next 60 days you will need love so embrace good love before spring. Go for walks outside safely and definitely get your lungs working. The moon will be in Gemini on the 19th, 20th, and 21st for Cancer. This will be a sweet and sour and salty month for you. And you are definitely going to be just that, sweet, sour, and salty. You will show others what a true crab you really can be. Your emotions will be put on the side and strength will come and it will come in and it will come in very, very strong for you to grab a hold of your claws and say, no, I need to be very, very strong this month. And it's definitely time to stop crying and worrying as you have done just that for months. Clean out your stomach with water and colon cleansers and cancer. This is finally the month this year that the moon is not going to be 
in your sign for so many days at a time. The 22nd and the 23rd, that's when the moon is going to be in Cancer. So your emotions and your tears will go away, but strength will finally come in for you. For Leo, single, well, the month of March will have you looking at new people to date in a relationship. Be more adventurous with your partner. Is it complicated? Hmm. Is your relationships complicated? Well, it's definitely time to kick out those complicated partners out of your life once and for all. You need someone who will take care of you and love you. Mercury gives you the strength to speak up to humans, so stop hiding and stop being quiet. Workout is a must, so definitely exercise daily, Leos. And yes, that success is definitely coming in next month. So when the moon is going to be in Leo on the 24th and the 25th, sit out each night and absorb it. So this way you can take on April's adventures. For Virgo. Last month's full moon gave you energy to be creative and heal. Time to make some new friends and find new love. Ignore others' opinions because not everyone thinks like you do. Stop being afraid to show the public the real you. What foods you like and what makes you happy is definitely what you should be posting. Also post new pictures, new food dishes, new snacks as well, and definitely things that you love. Stay away from sugar and carbohydrates this month. Your pancreas definitely needs that break. The moon will be in Virgo on the 26th and the 27th. For Libra, rest and relax first half of the month. Work hard and definitely that second half of the month you want to work super, super, super hard. So Libras, that first half of the month, balance out that rest. The second half of the month, balance out that hard work. So this way your scales can be in tip-top shape. Get a health checkup blood work done, and change your diet. Mars wants you to change how you handle your life. You are tired of being ignored. So visit people that really like and love you. And definitely plan video dates with family on Zoom to catch up. The moon forces you to look at your emotions this month. Definitely drink more water and definitely any kind of drinks this month so that way you stay hydrated, Libras. And hibiscus and hamica are definitely excellent things to go ahead and drink to clean out your kidneys as the Libra scales are the kidneys inside of the human system. The moon will be in Libra on the 1st, 2nd, 28th, and 29th. You will have the most moons this month. So Libras, get set to be emotional and speak up. For Scorpio. This month will be the most creative month of the year. Revise notes, calendars, and work. Uh, definitely very, very hard on releasing stress. Whatever methods you can come up with in your job to relieve stress, go ahead and exercise those methods and come up with those methods so that this way you can go ahead and relieve a lot of work stress that's gonna be on top of your shoulders this month, Scorpions. And definitely let the ideas burst out. Do not show others your emotions or tears. People do not need to know that. They only need to see your progress and developments. Be strong in pushing yourself forward. Worry about 2021 plans and move forward. Eat more fiber and stay away from fried foods and greasy foods. And Scorpio, the moon will be in your sign on the third, fourth, 30th and 31st. You, just like your Libra sister, will have the most moons this month. So Scorpions, you got to hide your emotions and your feelings this month. For Sagittarius, definitely business and pleasure should not mix. Or should they? That's definitely something that you are going to ask yourself this month. And definitely this month, it is okay to go ahead and to mix both. Take your partners on a business trip to deliver something or see family safely. 
and definitely take on projects to work harder at work. Definitely do overtime and stay focused at work. Stay away from spicy and fried foods this month. It's okay to take on challenges and prove others wrong in the process. Show off how smart you are because people are going to test you, Sagittarius, this month. They are going to challenge you and definitely tell them, you know what, challenge accepted and show them exactly how strong you really are and how strong you truly are. And the moon will definitely be in your sign on the 5th and the 6th of this month. For Capricorn. Definitely trust your instincts and natural stomach feelings about everything this month. Let your heart speak up and do not be afraid to say what's been on your mind. Connect to friends and definitely post online fun things that you are doing. Definitely stay focused on yourself and definitely drink vitamins for your bones, your hair, your skin. And definitely time for a chiropractor as well. For Aquarius. Definitely this month calls for you to be blunt and to be honest and to be forward with people. Hard work always pays off for you. So you have no problem stepping up at work. Your body wants you to move, jump, run, swim, and walk. So time to get moving and work out safely. Do more stretching or yoga with your exercise middle of month and definitely change up your workouts. Aquarius, your moon will be definitely in the sign of you on the 9th, 10th, and the 11th. For Pisces, always save the best for last. <laughs> this month definitely calls for you to go ahead and purge your belongings. Donate, sell, or give away things that you pick up that definitely give you bad memories. Anything. You could pick up absolutely any little thing. If it gives you a bad memory, Get rid of it. You definitely don't need it in your life or on your mind anymore, Pisces. Because this month definitely requires for you to get rid of bad memories. And you definitely need to stop remembering certain things from the past because you will stay in the past. And you definitely need to be moving forward this entire year. And this month requires for you to push yourself and to move forward right before your birthday. Definitely clean and fix your altars to look pretty. Keep onyx and chevron amethyst crystals on you all month. Burn nag champa, which is a blend of sandalwoods, or you want to burn sandalwood incense, or you could burn anything such as cedar, oud as well, that will definitely help out to go ahead and to wake up your third eye, to wake up your senses. Also Pisces, for your birthday, make sure that you Place a little chevron amethyst crystal on your third eye. Burn that sandalwood or nag champa incense around you so this way your third eye opens up and you will start to see things in a much more different perspective. So definitely open up that third eye this month. Well, I hope you enjoyed Retro Zombies horoscopes and definitely happy St. Patrick's Day and I will see you next month for Easter. Bye-bye. Now this episode is coming to a close, we would like to thank every single person that was a part of this episode and helped make this episode possible. If anybody is interested in being a part of this, you are more than welcome to do so. We would also like to thank every single one of you for watching and tuning into this episode. I know these times are very uncertain and distressful because of this whole COVID-19 pandemic that is going on, but times are changing and it's getting better. Right now they're offering vaccines in many places around the world and it's available to almost anybody. Personally, I got vaccinated. I don't feel much. I feel happy and excited to get my second dose, which will be coming in a couple of days. So hopefully you find a way to get yours. I advise you to please take care of yourself and get yours. Stay strong and find something that helps you push through these difficult times. Don't forget to take care of yourself and to believe in music. I am JC Corner and I will see you in another episode of Terminal TV.